beautiful people. It is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you're having an amazing day. I am so excited. We are going to play around with my new fish bag mold. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Brenda. This is going to be cool. If it turns out, we're going to use, um, let me get the bottles. We're going to use my, um, crystal resin three to one deep casting. So we're going to use that stuff today. I am going to put, are you ready? Mermaids. We're going to put mermaids in the bag. That's what I was going to use this for. So I'm going to probably just glue it. My little mermaid sitting on that. Oh, isn't that going to be the most adorable inside this and I'm going to have her friend. This will be at the bottom. Her friend's going to be up here floating. I think that's going to be cool. And I also purchased these at Michael's. They're bamboo, but I think it'll be cute in there so we can put some up in there. I don't want to go too far up in the bag, but I'm going to put them in and then I'll just nip them at the end because there's um they're too long and also when i was i went through my haul when i went to michael's they also had this it is what do they call it just botanical but it is rubber and what does it look like it looks like coral ah! so i'm gonna put maybe some of that at the bottom maybe underneath this thing here and then we'll have it sitting around it and have the mermaid on there so i'm excited so any hoodles i am gonna go i brought my shells out you never know i might stick one of those in there so i'm excited so this is what it was i bought it is it was expensive though there it came with six mermaids it was 16.99 craziness but I used my coupon. Always use your coupon. So anyways, we're going to get this. I'm going to go upstairs, put my, my, it's always chilly in my basement. So I'm going to put my um, resin in a bath. When I come back, it'll be all mixed up. And again, I do this every video. Use your respirator, use your PPE. Please be safe. Use it the whole time you are using your resin. The whole time. But do as I say, not as I do. Is that what they say? I'm choosing not to wear it when I come back so that I can talk to you guys. So that's my choice. But please wear it when you are using yours. I'm going to be the mother. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go get my resin up in the bath. And I'll see you guys when I'm all mixed up. Hello, I am back. My resin is mixed up. And like I said, this one is the 2 to 1 deep casting resin from crystal resin now before we start i just wanted to get this out i um was talking with the owner yesterday and if you are wanting to buy the shallow casting resin which is <clears throat> this one here the two-part shallow casting it isn't on the website but they will be getting more of it he said middle of september so hopefully please if you're going to order that it is coming back. He just has to wait for the shipment. So with that, here we go. I'm excited. So I pulled out some little pieces of that botanical stuff. I have some stir sticks because we're going to glue all of this stuff to the... Oh my goodness. I'm going to glue the Little Mermaid to the glue stick. And I'm going to put her in there. And I, I'm going to glue this to a stick. I'm going to glue our little mermaid so that she's sitting on our little, whoops, pretty thing that we made. So I'm going to glue her butt. I've just got a little wee glue gun. I'm just going to glue her butt. And I probably could do UV resin and all that good stuff, but... I just want it to just enough so that she sits there. I can 
put her upside down. Well, maybe I may have to put more glue. And she's going to pull apart. Let me get more glue in here. I'm just... I'll pull all the stringies off. I'm just wanting her in there good. You're not going to see it anyways. But I want to make sure she is on there. Yep, she is on there. Perfect. Make sure there's no little wispies of any sorts. Good. Our little girl is on the rocks. Oh my goodness. So that's that. Um, this little guy, pretty little girl, I'm going to hot glue something right about here. And I'm just going to glue the glue stick to it. All of that will be able to come off. There, perfect. So I can put her in without anything on her. Look at that. I got a hair. I got glue strands. I'll make sure there's nothing in my... mold. There we go. I'm just trying to get all the strands off because you don't want that in the resin. So I'm going to put her in a way that she's going to be up near the top. So she's going to be up near the top, not floating around because that's come right off. So that trick didn't work. Let me try, I don't know, because I don't know how I thought that would work. Here, let me just a little bit on my glue stick and then here. And you know what? I'm not going to play with it. I'm just going to let it sit like that. I want to do the same. I might put one or two of these in behind her like this. So, me thinking, might just, because this isn't going to go in right now. I'm pretty sure I don't have enough resin. If it is, then that's fine. I'll put her in. But if not, then we will just wait. And these guys, I'm just going to put them in resin. Because I think, I might be wrong, I think they just might um, look like they're going to float. So I'm going to break them up into smaller pieces. And maybe it'll look like coral. We'll see. Maybe not. All right, she's on there. And what I was thinking is gluing it to the popsicle stick. But we'll have to see how far in she goes. All right, so I mixed up three ounces of my resin. We're going to pour it in. And I'm going to leave a little bit out because I want, I'm going to jibby squiggle the bottoms in, but this stuff is so thin it's going right into the edges anyway. Awesome. So what I want to do, I'm going to put her and see how far she's going to go in there. I think that 
is good. So I'm going to cut off my glue stick there. I'm going to glue it to my popsicle stick. Oh, come on. I don't want any of that going in my see if I can do it this way. Awesome. So I will put that in there. And she will float about. I just want to make sure. And then I want to see. Oh my goodness, and get stuff all over me. because we're going to have to put these in now. Put them in behind her. Let me snip, because I don't want it to be too, hmm. I'm wondering if I'm going to pull her out. I'm going to put her in my cup. I'm wondering if I should glue all of this now to the back of this girl. That'll be good there. I just want to see where she's going to go. I'm hoping she's going to go right on the end like that. That's going to go there. All right. I always like to do things difficult, guys. So, I'm going to, where's my scissors? We're gonna cut that. Oh, maybe not. Maybe what I'll do is just glue it to the back of this. I'm gonna put that like that. Put it in there with her. Put a little bit of glue on it. Let me wipe off the big chunk that's there. And hopefully it doesn't put a hole in my glove. There we go. And I'm just going to put some glue here. Because I want it to go behind her. Right about here. I think that'll be good. And then maybe a smaller one. And I'm just gluing these because I want them to stay. Where am I going to put that one? I want that. Yep, yeah, so it's going to go here. Maybe what I'll do, just to cover this stuff, kind of place that in there maybe? Let's see. Sorry. So I'm just going to put some glue on here. And we're going to disguise it with some of that. Like that. I think that's cute. And maybe some of this blue. So you're not seeing it from the back. There. Our little mermaidy. Okay. So. 
We'll set that there. Now I'm going to just throw some of this in here. And I'm going to use this large tongue depressor and just kind of swirl it and hopefully it'll stay behind her. And if it don't, it goes in front, then that's, I guess, fine. Now, I need another glue stick to glue to this little guy, even though it's a little girl. That's so cool. It's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. Okay, let that... Okay, let's get her in. That's going to be good. And let's see if I can get both of them in there at the same time so to speak. And then once this part is done, then I can uh, remove, I think. Now I can't see where is she legs. I wanna make sure you can see. It's hard to tell. I just don't want her. Let me see if I can see it with my cam, my phone. <laughs> it's hard to see what's in there. Oh my goodness. I just want to see if I can, oh, you can't. It would be nice to know if I could see where she's going. Well, we're going to leave it. If it is what it is, let that cure. And then I will come back and maybe we can put some of this at the bottom after I put on my next level of um, resin. I just want this girl to be a little more straight. Oh, okay, now I can see. Her head is in the fin. I push her, pull her, and push her. There, I think it's... I can kind of see inside. <laughs> I can kind of see inside where... I just don't want her head to be... And it is, it's in her fin. Oh, no. You know what? It's almost worth maybe doing two. Putting all too much in one. Trying to. Let me see. And I'm tempted. I'm going to take out that. Oh my goodness. I'm going to try to take out that. Um, stuff I put in here. Oh, these tweezers are no good. Good for nothing. 
Okay, let me see if I can pull this up with these. Okay. There's too much. I'm going to put that in there. And you know what, guys? I have two molds. So I'm going to make the other one with one girl and this one with her floating. So we will put her floating in this one. And then I can shorten this and bring her down. And then the other one, because I have two of them, we will do the other one because I think it would be cute. Oh, here we go. Put a little glue on this one. Glue this here. Well, oh, let me get my fingers in there. Maybe I can glue one or two of these in there <clears throat> to the stick. And then she will have something as a backdrop as well. And... Stay, please stay. There. So she'll look like that. And we do not want that in the resin. All right, perfect. One down. So what I'm going to do is mix up some more resin, guys. And we will... do the other one so let me I'll put you on pause and I'll be right back guys okay I am back I've mixed up three more ounces of my um you guys are all crooked Woo! there we go three ounces of my um three to one resin from crystal resin we're gonna pour it in here And I want to push these guys down and around and hopefully they stay down that way. And there's bubbles in there, but this is their, um, basically it's bubble free. This. I'm just trying to lay it so that I don't hit her fins. And I think, I don't think she's, no, her head isn't hitting those blue things. So this is perfect. Perfect. All right. So I'm just going to let this cure. It takes three days guys I'm wondering if maybe I could pop one or two of these in this one and move them around and see so the only thing is you don't girlfriend there you go wanted to be so she's facing perfect 
Awesome. All right, guys. So this is going to sit for... Maybe I should... Maybe I will. I'm going to cut that off and glue it to a stick. Even though... Because it's leaning against my... Um, my... It's leaning against the side. And I might not want that to happen. And I need it to be even more cut. Come on. And let's glue this to here. tired of this guy you can fast forward I just thought it would be kind of cool to do something that other than just throw a fish in there I thought it would be awesome when I seen the mermaids I was like oh too cool okay so let's get this in here there so that makes my rock even I love the idea that that's coming behind and I'm just hoping my only concern is the fins touching the mold. So, all right, guys, we will see you when this is cured a bit. Oh my God, there's more in that one. You know what? I'm gonna mix up, cause I can do half and half. I'm gonna mix up another three ounces and put it in this one. And then we will be evened out cause she's not quite even there. So I'll, I'm gonna mix it up, pour it in, and then I will see you guys once it's all cured. See you in a bit, guys. Okay. Very quick, I did mix up three more ounces of my three to one um, deep casting, and I filled it up. So this little girl's got more than this one, but that is awesome because I don't want the this stuff getting in this girl's face. So I think we're good. On that note, and I will see you guys um, in a couple of days, and we will put a second layer on. Bye. Okay, I am back. We are going to put some more resin in these, and I've mixed up um, six ounces. You got to go in threes with this one, because this one is the um, deep casting resin from Crystal Resin. And again, I go through this every single time. I was using my respirator while I was mixing. I'm choosing not to wear it while I can talk to you guys. So we're going to take off, hopefully, with ease. Oh, it did. Now here, on this one, it don't matter, but I'm going to try to get that off. I hope it doesn't do that to my little mermaid. It did as well. Let me get that off. Let me see if I can. I'm going to have to take my glove off just to do this, and then I'll put it back on. I need to get a hold of the glue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was a good idea. Do you see the glue right in there? Let me see. My nippers, maybe. Oh, it's coming. All right. Well, that was kind of silly. Oh, there we go. It's coming. I just had to get at it. I kind of figured it wouldn't stick there. Now, because I did that, I want to make sure. Oh, that's too hilarious. That's part of my fingernail. Make sure there's nothing in there. And what I want to do is cut these off. And I thought, I have these. These are glass cutters, nippers. That's hilarious. The tip of my fingernail come off. Oops, sorry guys, that's my get ready to go to work. All right. 
let me just do this with well, this one while I have my glove off and then we're going to get into there see perfect guys look at that yeah I want to nip these down let's see I was thinking these because they're a little heavy duty I want to get in without hitting here let's get the glue off this first if that's possible oh perfect there we go because I, I love these and I didn't want to dull them because these are for jewelry I thought because sometimes um, when you have foliage it's so it's really hard to so I do the same with this one make sure you don't get your mold with that all right now I'm excited okay let's get my glove back on because I know you got to wear your PPE guys all right here we go well, so I want to do I do want to have something so what I'm thinking I'm gonna try and fill it just to where the little foliage is done and then I'm thinking I'm gonna put sand on the bottom so I'm gonna do up to that and this one I'm gonna think I think I might be doing the same oh that's hilarious I just noticed on the bottom where did I put them of the mermaids <laughs> they've got they've got numbers I don't know if you can see it in there oh well it is what it is we know there's no real mermaids right all right here we go we're gonna fill it to the end of my stone perfect and I'm feeling I'm gonna need more Really? Do you see how far it went? <laughs> it is. Oh. That is hilarious. Oh, and I hope I don't see a line. I have a feeling we're going to see a line. <sighs> All right, I guess I'm going to mix up three more ounces of resin, guys. I'm going to put that in and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I've mixed up three ounces and we're going to pour it in. And what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a little bit more in this one and I'm going to put sand on the bottom of both. Maybe some little shells. I just want to make sure her fin and a little bit past. Maybe a little more. Perfect. Because I want her to be suspended. Awesome. So I've gone to where the little nibby here is where the bag comes out on the bottom. And then we're going to come back. And for that part, I'll probably just use my two part and put sand in it, mix it up and put it down there. Maybe put some of these little Maybe like a, a, a couple of these seashells in the bottom. I think we're good. Now let me put, I want her to be suspended as well. So I'm gonna put the rest in here. So her tail is not someone I go to put, because it doesn't have to be a very thick layer. I just want sand on the bottom. These guys take a lot of resin. Because that was three, six. What did I do? I did three times two, so that's six ounces. Plus I did six, so that's 12 ounces. And then another three, so that's 
15 ounces and then probably another I'm gonna mix up probably two ounces to finish the tops that's a lot of resin but I think they'll be cute so anyways I'm going to let the bubbles disperse this is like I said this is my um, <clears throat> the deep casting resin it's a slow curing resin so when it's a slow curing resin you your bubbles tend to burst a little better which is awesome I'm washing off my little stick as I go so I might do and I don't like to use the alcohol when I'm doing layers because you will get a film um, so I'm gonna leave it sit that like I said I see all kinds of bubbles but I'm gonna let it sit I'm gonna come down with my little wee little bit of my long neck lighter I got here but it's a short little guy if I can find them on my little table but I don't mind using this one guys because I'm gonna show you well let me hold something because I get a lot of comments here I'll show you with my phone it isn't very like can you see the flame it is not very big it is the minimalist flame so that's why I don't mind using that one because it's more directed as where this guy there's a flame so yeah so anyways I'm gonna let this cure we're gonna give it one or two little bursts and like I said on the bottom of my I don't know if you can see it maybe I can pick it up I'm just wiping this out with a wet one and that's how I clean these guys you got to do it every time especially these ones I love them but they're pardon the English a pain in the butt up to clean I'm gonna bring it up can you see all the bubbles on the little rock that I made I'm not too worried about those if they stay there I'm not worried because like I said I'm gonna cover it with sand so you might not see them and then again guess what guys you're in water so it don't matter if there's bubbles a little bubble here and there so these are the little tiny ones and they will disperse so I'll do it one little shot right now with you with with you guys but I'm trying to find my little wee guy oh it was a hard day yesterday my baby boy moved out but his stuff is still here so I don't have my upstairs craft room again yet <laughs> soon to be coming my friends uh, well I don't know where I got it but anyway so we'll use this guy it is here I'll find it as soon as I turn the camera off because that's what happens every time here we go not oh, see and they're not even see it's so little there we go and I can see a bunch of little micro bubbles but actually that's not bubbles those are I don't know. All right, guys, I will see you in a few days because this does take three days to cure. But I found the deeper that I went with this one, it um, cured a little quicker. So with that, I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. Okay, I am back. This looks so cute. It's so, it's hard not to undo them right now. The only thing is, I can see lines. Can you see the lines? I hope you don't see it in the actual thing. <gasps> Anyways, so the little mermaid, that's just the mermaid. I'm going to um, put some of this mossy stuff on the bottom. I figured that would be kind of cool to fill that up with that. So she looks like she's going above the let me get some more in there above the coral reef and the other one I'm gonna do sand so I don't want to put the sand in my my nice um, OXO OXO 
my jug. I've mixed up four ounces of more of my crystal resin, the three to one. And we're just gonna get into this. So I'm gonna pour, because you don't need a much, that one's pretty full. I don't need much. So I'm gonna put, let's say that much. So there's probably, I'm gonna say, well, let me see. I did four ounces. There's two ounces in there, maybe. Ounce and a half. So I have, I have glitterized sand. Go figure, eh? So let me get a spoon and we'll put some of that in there. And I'll get a little stick. Oops, excuse me. So we're going to put some of that in there. We're going to do three heaping spoonfuls of that. We're going to add some of my coarse sand. This is from the dollar store. And I'm going to make it like a paste. And then I've got these crushed shells that I bought from Michael's. So I might throw some of those in first like that. Just kind of like that. And then stir up my sand contraption. Oh yes, and you can see the glitter. Look at that. And then I'm gonna pour that on there. And fill it to the top. I think that's good. All right, so I'm gonna leave that. Put my lids back on my sands. And what I'm gonna do is dunk these guys in this resin first. We want little bits of all the colors. And then we're gonna place that in there. Try to put the coral. Let's get some of the natural colored one looking colored. No! Get in there. Get back in there, my friend. I'm gonna tap, tap, tap. Oh my gosh, I've made a mess. Let me just get a couple of wet things here to get myself cleaned up a little. I hate putting it on this board because I like using the board as a table. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited when I finally get my little, I bought a dummy battery that fits into my camera so I can plug it in all the time. I don't have to worry about it cutting out on me because I get doing my stuff and don't pay attention to look up at the monitor to see if my battery's dead. So with that, that looks pretty full, my sons, my sons, my friends. And we're going to just put some more resin in there just to top it up. We're going to add some interest into our bear, even though it's a reindeer. We're going to put this in there. Little sea things and all. And we'll see what it looks like. so much of this overspill. I'm messy today. 
There we go. Now I want to just tap it in. I want it to be all covered. It's all covered in resin, so I'm not too worried. I'm going to give it a little torch with this little guy, as you can see. I know people say don't use a torch, but this guy is so small. I don't know if you can see the flame. You can't even see the flame. We're going to get this guy. There we go. You can see that sparkle. All right. So I'm going to let this go. I am going to find something else to put my sand in. And I'll see you guys in the morning. I am so excited to unveil this because I think it's going to be cute. All right, guys, I'll see you in a bit. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. This has been a week in the making. Oh my goodness. Now let's see if I can oh, get this out. goodness oh we're all good till I get to the end someone said alcohol in here amazing you can't see yet. I'm going to set it right here. We're going <laughs> to, I'm going to hold you in suspense. Get them both done here. And there's that cricket again. Oh my goodness. I was so worried there was a line. go. Let me just turn them inside out the right way. These turned out adorable. Oh my goodness. I was paranoid because I was wondering if this had left a little bit of coloring. Because when I was looking through the mold. Okay, here we go. When I was looking through the mold, I thought I seen it was a different color. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. Let's get this out of the way. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Mermaid in a bag. That turned out freaking adorable. What is up here? Oh, shells. My shells floated right to the top. <laughs> that is adorable. There is... Basically, it is bubble-free. There's a couple little bubbles around this. But that is adorable. Oh my goodness. I'm going to leave it like that. So there's one. And this one, I'm so excited with this, the rock. Oh my goodness, that looks adorable. Now I don't know if I like that. Well, I suppose the coral looks cute. That looks adorable as well. Mermaids in a bag. I'm impressed. There's the odd little bubble on the stone. My little rock that I made. That's adorable. Well, there you go, guys. Mermaids in a bag. 
I'm impressed. I think that's cute. It was it was hard because I couldn't see where everything was. So with this girl, I thought it was this I had in here for her. But it wasn't. It was the other way around. She's on the bottom of the ocean. That's pretty cool. And that rock that I made with the chameleon powder look awesome. Anyways, with that, my amazing people, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, please think about subscribing and um, becoming part of my YouTube family. And hit that bell up there for notifications. So the next time I put a video up, you'll be notified. So today, everything I have used will be linked in the description box. And I'm going to go through my little spiel. So with that being said, in the description box, I have the links to where to purchase um, Tri Art Liquid Glass. I have the links to where to purchase um, Fundy Molds. I have the links to where to purchase Julie Cuts Molds. I have the links to, <clears throat> sorry, uh, Let's Resin with a discount code of Sherry M10, capital S, capital M. I also have the link and a discount code for Crystal Resin, which is what we used here today. Today we use the Deep Casting Resin. So use my discount code of Sherry Molten 5, capital S, and get 5% off your order. Um, I have my two amazing Lares distributors. I have Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada, my Canadian distributor, and go check out her website. And my discount code for Michelle is Sherry Molten 10, capital S, capital M, and the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner. My discount code for Laura is all capital letters, Sherry Molten 10. And um, the cricket is distracting me. I am so sorry. And with that, I have my PayPal link if you choose to help donate to support my channel. And also my link is for my Amazon shops, which I'm an affiliate with. So with that, I hope you enjoy today's video with the mermaids in a bag. I think they turned out amazing. So I'm going to try and get some pictures outside. It's, uh, it's still dark out. It's not quite... The sun's not out yet. So anyways, with that, my friends, I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye. Okay, I brought these out. I hope you can get a better look at them. They are so freaking adorable. And I love how that rock shines. Look at that. It is basically crystal clear. See you later, guys. Bye.